Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and, well, I am Sigatang, as you might know, I am the person that does these videos, and so, today we're going to be building the Just Cause 3 Light Tank. You might have seen it in the last uh, video on this uh, channel, uh, when we were doing the banners. I'm sorry about all of the scaffolding around it. It's... There's some things that are being replaced. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get started with the tutorial. Determine where your center line is, and so we will start with a mangrove upside down slab, and then three more on either side. I think for it, yep. And then we'll go one forward from that. Place a trap door of the mangrove uh, family. And then polish black down, uh, stone stair uh, upside down on both sides on the places that we've just built. And then one. Uh, up the front, and then behind it, a stair, an upside down stair, I should say. So yay, amazing! We have created the front wheels. Are you happy? Oh yeah, I forgot dark oak fence. Uh, in, well, on the front uh, mangrove slab, <laughs> and. Uh, Top of that, we will have a mangrove stair. And then coming off of that, a fence gate. And then sandstone. Uh, coming off either side of the fence gate uh, to be kind of. Well, we'll get back to it. So. Okay. Okay. So we will take our brush plate and put it on either side of the there and put pressure plate well put ah uh, fuck outdoors on either side of the stair and put pressure plates on top of them. Make sure you don't have to bait them because you're gonna have to replace ah uh, the them yeah <laughs> and so on top of the wheels we'll be adding another trap door we'll get back to all the details later and behind this uh, We will have another set of blocks, and then stairs, or more stairs. Don't you love it when builds just have so much stairs in them that you feel like you're going insane by saying stairs so much? Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, um, okay. Back to the build. Um. We should probably finish the bottom section, so. Another row of mangrove slabs. Back one, two, three, four. So, I should go back from the front one. Four times. Three. And on the fourth one, Blackstone Stairs, our old friend! Actually, yep. Uh, just... Just mirror the wheels that you made at the front, uh, to the back. And that's how you built the wheelbase. <laughs> Fantastic! I don't even know how to build my own build sometimes. But that's okay. I only built them like once and then 
kind of just it's a bad strategy but take some uh but anyways uh mangrove trap doors along the back uh wheelbase and then looms above that for the engine because yeah Also, the back stair uh, of the hall should be, well, the upper hall plating uh, should be, kind of, well, angled. So, uh, both stairs on the side should be angled. Oh, yay. Now that we have done that, we can add in the red choker boxes. I'm surprised I even do more of you. I'm sorry, uh, just fill in the rest of the uh, hall and we can just replace blocks later. <laughs> just easier to. So, Acacia sign on uh, the uh, back right wheel, and then on top of that sign, uh, shit. Uh, put a uh, whatever skeleton skull down, and then an acacia sign under it, uh, for the exhaust port. Well, exhaust, and a bit of the road armor. This vehicle's kind of weird, uh, but yeah, re uh, replace the back blocks right before your loom with stairs, and then there's on the, uh, and then there's facing the front on the upper set of stairs, like you would, and then. Mangrove slabs behind it. <sighs> okay. So, uh, sandstone pipe and birch trap door. Just any way how you want it. You can even. It doesn't matter. It's. Uh. Supposed to be for the sandbags, anyways. So, when we come back up to the front, off of the sandstone stairs, we should have lightning rods. Because, yay, fantastic! They are there for the bumper, yay, and then. With the skeletons calls on top of them. There's a lot of skulls in my build. <laughs> you might need a skeleton farm if you're wrong. If you're playing in survival, so. But on the stairs of the front, uh, skeleton skulls, as you should have. Fantastic. When you have them. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot about the other side. Okay, okay. The one two, two. just create a uh, normal wheel with uh four stairs. Uh, we're gonna need more acacia signs. Uh, one under the big giant wheel, and then three across the back engine, of course. And grab some just brown banners, place one on the upside down stair, on the back left uh, wheel, and 
one on the front right. And then another acacia sign on the second shulker box, to, uh, red shulker box to the back. And that will complete the haul, except for we need item frames. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. In a pretty normal uh, style. Oh, yeah. If you want to add a lever to the other side, flick it down. Just to add some more detail and make it less bland. <laughs> and brown chalker boxes on this. Uh, off, uh, coming off of this lab and stair because uh, for the external fuel because it has some external fuel uh, coming off this will be both variants of the vehicle but I'm going to be recording it separately you might see it in a part 2 <sighs> And so, what we need to do is grab a red bed and point it towards the inside uh, for the back tail lights. Because everyone likes uh, the lights that have a back of a vehicle. Make sure that, you know, uh, so you know people are backing up. And then also point towards the inside for the black bed uh, to be, uh, the black beds are meant to be uh, hatches. And then we need white beds for the front most uh, item frames because uh, those are uh, signifying the headlights and point them out towards the yeah this time uh so now it's time to uh put acacia signs uh over them and now we can move on to the turret yeah I'll see you for the turret. Okay, hello everyone, welcome back. So, um, all right, yeah, we will start with a normal lover on the backmost block that you can place it on on the right hand side, followed by a lightning rod. There, well. On top of it, followed by a wither skeleton skull on top of it. Just amazing, isn't it? How simple it can be. So, now to move on to the actual turret. Okay, so on the. on all of these blocks, uh, we'll place. Full blown blocks and then mangrove stairs on either side of this block back here. Followed by a mangrove slab and two trap doors on either side of it. Now coming up to the front, never brick wall, uh weather skeleton doll. Hey actually that rhymed. Good going me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to keep going back, a white stained glass pane, followed by a red uh, stained glass pane, followed by a red never, well, red never break wall, followed by a 
Red stained glass pane. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me see what went wrong here. I see what went wrong here. Okay. Move everything at the front one back. Uh, with a turret. And uh, the side armor because we're gonna ha uh, we have to move it back one block. Just put two blocks out here because yeah, and uh, we won't do that side yet. And then uh, red stained glass pane, of course. And then three uh, red never brick. Walls uh, across the back, followed by mangrove trap doors on the back of those. And these are supposed to be uh, fuel canisters at the back here. <laughs> I'm going to use actual terminology because, well, terminology I know, so you might be a little bit lost. <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> uh... Let me just give uh, the Whisper Skeleton Skull on the Mangrove Slab out of the way, and I will grab a Diorite Wall from the build, and then Diorite Wall and Red Stained Glass Pane uh, towards the front to complete the front uh, look of the turret. And. Yeah, that's the entire uh, this part of the turret. Now you go one up, fill in every uh, location except uh, these three with mangrove trap doors. Now replace. Uh, now grab. A redstone repeater, an iron trap door, and a redstone compensator. And the redstone compensator will be placed on this uh, stair here, and it will be turned on. Then a redstone repeater, and it will be just normal. And then an iron trap door in the middle here. So now uh, we're going to be going forward. So grab our oak uh, wood trap door. Uh, grab an acacia sign, uh, pressure plate, and a red carpet. As we go forward, we front up the vehicle. So go another uh, block out with your. Uh, mangrove planks and make these two stairs uh, point towards one another and then under those stairs you'll put the dark oak wood uh, drop doors followed by two more slabs followed by another stair So it should look like this. And so, go all the way back with your uh, skip one at the front of a gun and go all the way back until you hit the red carpet uh, and fill all of that with your mangrove pressure plates. And then the mangrove trap door will be put at the front here to give a muscle break more height as a muscle break would have. Acacia signs on either side. And grab an uh, item frame, place it at the front of the muscle break. And grab a uh, 
black shulker box and place it in the item frame and then place the Keisha sign over the item frame if you can do that. Remember, now uh, I know that Bedrock does not have all of these features and so I would use your own mental image of what you think is best to make it with. So either use the signs or either use the item frames. So yeah. Uh and then finally a daylight sensor will be placed here. Uh of course it'll be uh of course it will flick uh this one up uh, well this trapdoor up but just put it back down and finally one last thing that we need to do is grab your lightning rods and grab an end rod as well and place an end rod on top of the uh wall that you placed for the uh turret armor and place a lightning rod on top of that and that will finish off your vehicle except as you might have noticed the wheels look a little bit barren now we'll be doing the banners so i will be back with that shortly hello everyone welcome back so we have the banner Crafting area now to make the banners. These banners are really simple. You only need two of them. Unlike the Galleon Light Tank, which had a bunch of them. So, anyways, place your first red banner into the loom or the crafting table, and just kind of go around the outside uh, with your black die to make a C shape and now you need to make a reversed uh, C shape because it's supposed to be two banners in one so as you can see here Red in the middle, red in the middle, red in the middle, red in the middle. Place them on your, uh, car, well, wheels, because yeah. <laughs> and including the back of a wheel. The back one. Oh, yeah, oh. As well, uh, quick, quick, uh, quick correction. Brown banner on the back. So it looks like this. Yeah, very good. Okay, major correction. I see. I see what's wrong here. Okay, major, major correction. Darn post nice. Just great. I messed up the yeah this entire front section. One.
ओके गुड I'm surprised how I never caught this before, but okay, okay. Uh, I uh, saw it too. Please. Just do what I'm doing here and build you next. Yeah. Are you okay? All right, everything's right. This is how the vehicle should look. I'm sorry for that big mess, uh, mess up. And well, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. <laughs>